Hi, I'm Jenny, and today I will teach you how to use the Franklin Planner app. This is the Franklin Planner app. When you first open the application, you will see the quote of the day. And from here, you swipe the screen to get to the main menu. On the main menu, you can access today's task, schedule, note, calendar, master task, mission, search, and settings. In the top right corner of every screen, there is a small compass icon. If you press it, it will take you to the main menu. To change the date, you can swipe the top of the screen where you see today's date. You can also long tap the date to access a calendar pop-up. Here you can access dates that are further in the future or past. You can select a date. Also in the calendar pop-up, if you long tap the title bar, you can manually change the year, month, and date. To return to today, click the date in the top left corner. Changing the date works for tasks, schedules, note, and master task. To create a new task, you can click in the empty space and task. You can name it. Set a priority rank from A0 to C2. Um, set a status depending on how much of your task you have completed. And set a repeat, which you can set as daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. You can also set an end day so that the repetition will stop on this date. You can arrange your list of tasks by status, by priority, and by alphabetical order. You can add a new schedule by tapping the schedule icon and clicking in an empty space in your schedule. You can name your event, set a start time and end, or, yeah, so, <laughs> and you can set a repeat as daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly, and you can add an alarm to remind you of the event. You can choose which calendar to add it to. We will just stick with Franklin Planner. And the icon on the right means that this uh, schedule will repeat. To change the view, you can tap the title bar and you can switch from timetable to list view. Change the time of the schedule, you long tap and drag it to wherever you need. To create a new note, click the note icon in the main screen and click in empty space. Enter your note in the text field and you can give it a category, a location, and add up to four attachments. To change the view of the note screen, you click the title bar to switch from today's note by time or by category. You can manage your categories under category management where you can add and delete different categories. To 
access your calendar, you can click the calendar icon in the main menu. Here you can see every day and you can see the different schedules and tasks at the bottom of the screen. You can choose calendar view or to change the view you click the title bar and you can see list view. To add a schedule to a day, you select the day and you can either click an empty spot in the bottom of the screen or you can click the add schedule button up top or you can long tap and select add schedule or add task. To go to that day's schedule, you select the first option and click OK. To add a master task, you click the master task icon in the main menu. A master task is a task who doesn't ha that doesn't have a date or time. You enter your task in the text field and save. You can move your master task from to task or schedule and you can set a date and time. When you move a master task to schedule or task, it deletes it from master task. You can add and manage your mission statement under the mission icon on the main menu. A mission statement is a personal statement that acts as a life compass and you can make plans based off of your mission statement. You can edit it or add a new one here. On the startup page, the default setting is to show a quote of the day. To change it to show your mission statement, you click mission statement. OK. And you can view it in the main menu. A task is something that you have to complete but does not have a specific time. To go to your tasks, you click the task icon in the main menu. One, if you do determine a time for your task, you can drag and drop to schedule you can also share your schedule by dragging and dropping to the share icon in the drop zone and you can share on all these different applications to delete a schedule you can drag and drop to the uh, recycling bin in the drop zone or you can click on the recycling bin and delete one or more items. You can move incompleted tasks to today's list of tasks by long holding the date in the top left corner and pressing bring incomplete tasks to today. You can select any of the tasks in the list of incompleted tasks from the last week and select bring. This will bring the list of incompleted tasks to today's list of tasks and it automatically changes the status of incompleted tasks to forward. To view tasks in full screen, you touch the title bar and swipe upwards. To view the normal screen, you touch the title bar again and swipe downwards. This also works for schedule and for note. You can search for different things by clicking the search icon in the main menu. Here you can look up different notes, schedules, or tasks and refine your search with filters. Once you've found what you were looking for, you can click it and it will take you to the date that you created it.
You can backup and restore your data by clicking the settings icon in the main menu and backup restore. To backup your data to an SD card, you select backup to SD card. To restore from an SD card, you select restore and choose the file you would like to restore. If you're using the trial version of the app, you have to back up your data to the SD card before your trial expires so that you can restore your data after you purchase the full version. You can sync your calendar with a Google Calendar by going to the main menu and settings, schedule and calendar settings, and schedule view settings. You can click your Google account and after that your uh, schedule from your Google Calendar will be synced with this calendar and you can see which events are Google Calendar events by the little Google icon in the corner of each event. You can also access this app on a widget on your homepage. You can either have a calendar widget or a tasks and schedule widget. And you can access the application through the widget.